we are gonna come back and we're gonna show you how we perm her hair. <laughs> Stephanie, how do you feel about perming your hair? I mean, what do you think of perm when you hear the word perm? Really curly hair. So you have no idea what it's gonna come out like? No. And you're a little frightened. Yeah, but I'm excited. You're excited too. Well, you know what? It's time for a change. Aren't you tired of being basic? <laughs> a little yes. bit? I, I feel like everything is basic now, so let's not be basic, right guys? I don't think any hair bestie wants to be basic anymore. We, we want to do basic. We want to have fun, and today we're going to have fun, and we're going to do it all together. All right, so Nora just got done doing Stephanie's color. It looks beautiful, right? Thank you. So today we are going to do some perming. I'm so excited. and. You know, it's like a new wave. I mean, everybody's wanting beach wave these days. And Nora, you have naturally curly hair, right? I do. So you know all about texture. But now we're gonna have to put artificial texture into Stephanie's hair because her hair is naturally straight. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but what's special is we're gonna put Olaplex into what we're doing today because we're not trying to get hair as curly as you, Nora. No, you have to be born like this. Yeah, I mean, we could perm it to get stuff like that, but today we really want to create more beachy texture because everyone's wanting this beachy type of look and we want to kind of create those waves and permanently put them into her hair so she doesn't have to curl it all the time. She can just scrunch it and have like lived in waves, so let's get started. Okay, so before perming Stephanie's hair, I want to clarify her hair to make sure everything is shampooed out so we have a clean, um, scrub it up, dub. Yeah, just scrub it. Just make sure it's all clean so that way the perm solution will penetrate. So, Nora, what are you doing with the Olaplex? I am going to mix one half an ounce of Olaplex with three ounces of water. Wow. So. I love this little reservoir. Right yes. Now. Okay, so we're going to use it as a treatment because her ends are very porous. Like, if you look at her ends here, you can see it's very, very porous from all the highlights. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Olaplex treatment on her ends. And while it's still damp, I'm actually going to perm and wrap her hair with the Olaplex on her ends. And that way it makes sure her ends are protected. Alright, when I do an Olaplex treatment on Stephanie's hair, since her ends are a little bit porous, okay, I like to use a cling film or a saran wrap, whatever you want to call it. Because we don't want to waste any product because we know what? Olaplex, you know... You don't want to waste it's it. It's valuable. It's very valuable. It's liquid gold. Yes, I like that word. I don't like the word expensive. We like the word valuable. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to double it because we don't want everything going down that drain. Because we can't be wasting product, guys. That's so smart. It is very smart, right? Yeah. So You're like, why? No, I've never, I've never seen this before. This is really cool. So let's get that Olaplex treatment going. And then it's, very, it's really important that we towel block the hair too. So that way a lot of the treatment gets to go into the hair, even though we did add water to this. So you'll see me apply the Olaplex treatment right into her ends just like that. And nothing is going to waste because her hair is absorbing all. She likes to experiment with her hair, so she puts a lot of lightener on her ends. So we still want to be careful because think about it, you know. She was a cosmetology student. We all know what they do in yes, school. Yes, she is a cosmetology student. And I'm going to focus it mainly on her ends. And then we're going to let this sit. And then I'm actually going to perm right over this. Okay, and because her ends are very porous, a lot of Olaplex on the ends isn't going to hurt it, okay? What I love about when you're doing an Olaplex treatment and you have the cling film wrapping around the bowl is this, okay? We have an empty bottle here, but when you look here, it collected all of the remaining treatment right down here and it's not wasted going down the drain. So what I do is I squeeze the bottle as much as possible and I put it right in there so it can suction all the treatment right back up and you let it do its thing slowly and kind of squeeze the bottle so it slowly pull all of that treatment right back up and this is really cool guys because you know you don't want to waste this product this is good stuff and we still have so much areas up here that we haven't applied the Olaplex treatment on okay that's incredible it is incredible right Nora it's such a simple way to like save so much more product Right? Look, look, it's slowly sucking up everything. And you see the bottle filling back up? And watch, as I pull this bottle right back up, it filled it right back up. Isn't that cool? So now I get to reapply the Olaplex treatment on the remaining areas around her face and not waste any bit of it. Yeah, because whenever I see it going down the drain, it like hurts my heart. Right? <laughs> you can't. You can't waste it. You have to move it right back up. Like there's my money that goes I mean, down the drain. This he, is amazing. See, you could dip the ends, but the problem is how do you reapply it up through here and get these areas? 
You yeah. have to double dip. No, you don't. And this is really cool. So now she's ready to perm. I put the treatment on her hair and now we're ready to get started. And the reason why we're ready to wrap is because while we're wrapping, the hair is you know, processing the Olaplex treatment on the head simultaneously so you don't really have to wait. You can wrap and go right away. I clipped the top section out of the way as you can see on the top of Stephanie's head. And I'm gonna start wrapping the sides first. And then I'll wrap the top last, okay? <laughs> All right guys, so we are gonna use these big giant rods. They're really long, they're really big, they're really flexible. <laughs> I like you could use it as a microphone. Or a microphone or whatever. You can do a lot of things with these rods. But let me tell you what, the reason why I use these rods is because you can take larger sections, it's easy to rock and roll with these. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first large section. So you can see this giant block here that I'm taking. And you wanna get a comb here and you want to have lots of tension. So I'm going to comb the hair, okay? And it's important to have a water bottle on hand too because sometimes the hair might dry out. So you do it like this and you get an end paper, okay? And you hold it out with tension, just like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put an end paper right at the bottom and I'll put another one right at the top, okay? And if it's too dry, what I do is I spray it, get nice and wet. Ooh. Okay, and it's been a minute here. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the hair in. Okay, lots of tension here. So if that comes out, I'm gonna wrap this over. Okay, and ooh. Okay, so then I'm gonna bring this long piece in. Give me an end paper. Okay. So I'm gonna do it just like that. You're gonna wrap it and go, just like so and then you fasten it to the head, just like that. And sometimes for certain situations like this, I kind of like the ends kicking out a little bit because it, it gives that lived-in texture. In the past, we tried to wrap all of the ends inside of the rods, but nowadays with modern texture, you're able to kind of let a little bit of the ends flicker out. And because her ends is already porous, I feel like it's what's cool is that you don't have to put the treatment or the, the perm solution on those ends. So you get all that texture in the mids and leave the ends flicking out. That's what makes it look beachy. Yeah, it does. And then I repeat this all the way through the back. In the next section I take, it's just like so. So I like to take large diagonal forward sections, as you can see here. Okay, so I'm gonna comb it really tight. And remember, if any piece falls out because of the layers, you just wrap them back in. All right, so I'm gonna hold it with maximum tension. Okay, I'm gonna put one paper at the top, one paper on the bottom. No more key spray it. So you're gonna mist it, and that's what helps it stick, okay? Now hold just like that, get the rod. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it over just like so. Because she has lots of little layers here on the ends, we're gonna start pulling it as we go up. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it over, and get me another end paper. Okay, perfect. So the end paper is what keeps most of those short pieces inside the rod, okay? So we're gonna start turning it in and fasten it. But do you see how those ends are flickering out? You could leave them out. Now we're gonna fasten it just like so, okay? These flickering ends is, one, is what's gonna give it that texture that we want. So remember, you don't have to saturate all these ends into the solution, okay? And I'm gonna roll everything wrapping back. So we got done wrapping all of the bottom portion of Stephanie's head, as you can see. I'm gonna give her a full spin here so you can see how it's done. We only use three rods on each side with a total of six rods. That's pretty fast. And most likely I'm only gonna use two or three at the top, so a total of nine rods, and then you're done. It's pretty quick. It's like it's like doing nine foils, you know? <laughs> so. That's really, especially she has a lot of hair and it's thick, so that's impressive. Yeah. Well, I think that's why it's really cool. You could take more hair because of the large rods, and also it creates more of a beachy texture. So this is a new way of giving permanent texture into the hair. So it's really cool because her ends, as you can see, they're very porous. So having that Olaplex in there really makes me feel a lot safer. So now we're gonna put the end paper here. I'm just gonna wrap it like that. And Nora, will you spray it really quick? Yeah, it's good to kind of wet it down because you definitely want to um, have adherence with the end paper. Now, the end paper is what gives you um, 
more pliability and make sure the ends or whatever little layers that she has in there can go in. Now keep in mind, I'm leaving most of her ends out. So I still want lots of tension. Okay, so I'm still wrapping it with lots of tension. And what I like to do is like kind of, if you wiggle it a little bit, I could get more tension in there, right? So what's really cool is because she does have porous, porous ends, I don't have to concentrate the solution on her ends. So leaving it out makes it that much more cooler because we want messy texture nowadays. Instead of like making all the ends and you can create that hook, you don't have to worry about that. Now with the styles that we have, it's a lot more forgiving. So you can actually kind of twist and turn it like this to make sure everything stays in. It's not an 80s perm, it's the remix. Yes, this is perm remix. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing throughout the top of her head. We just got done wrapping Stephanie's whole head. She's looking so adorable. How do you feel, Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like what you call her? Medusa. Medusa. Marvelous Medusa. And Stephanie's like, who's Medusa? I don't know who <laughs> no. that is. <laughs> Making us feel old. I know. So we're gonna wrap her hair with little cotton coils here. Ooh. So what I do is I wrap her head. Ooh, excuse me, I'm not even looking. Okay, so it's important to wrap it because it prevents the solution from dripping all over her face. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna apply the solution over the rods right here. And just make sure you saturate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt it all over the rods first and then I'm going to worry about going back in and making sure I penetrate all the way through. It's really important that usually I try to get two boxes of perm solution because you never know you might need more okay but penetrating it all the way in is really important. I did wrap her with the coils and I also wrap her uh, neck with towels because you don't want it to drip everywhere because it can get a little messy sometimes when you are dealing with perm solutions and you don't want it dripping down your client's eyes or face. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and penetrate all the way through on all of the rods. And then we'll be done. I'm going to let her process for 20 minutes under a cap. And voila! I just got done rinsing all of the rods and making sure all the solutions out of the hair. I got the neutralizer and I'm just gonna apply it on while the rods are still sitting in her hair because it's really important you don't want it to lose its shape. So neutralizing it while the rods is in will make sure the curl formation is still in there. That locks it in, right? Yes, that locks it in. So you have to let this process for five minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna rinse it again, and I'm gonna squirt the Olaplex directly right on it because she does have compromised hair, especially when you're dealing with hair that's been bleached multiple times now. Stephanie, God bless her. She's been bleaching her own hair because she's a beauty school student for a while, and then, then you're trying to correct it, so she's been through multiple color corrections. All right, so I just got done rinsing the neutralizer out of her hair after five minutes, and I mixed well, this is pure Olaplex with, do you add water to this? Yeah, a little so bit. So we add a little bit of water to it. So I'm going to put this directly over her rods while it's still in there. And I did put a cling film on the bowl as well. Because you got to do that because we don't want to waste product. I think that's the problem. Like, I'm telling you guys, we tend to waste product too many times. And with this, especially with it being very valuable, you have to make sure you don't waste it. So if I get to reuse it, I will. So there you go. And then after that, I'm gonna process it for about five to 10 minutes. Oh my gosh! We are finally done! Nora, what did you say she looks like? A Tahitian princess. A Tahitian princess. Her hair has so much more volume. It's huge. It's playful. Stephanie, please She's say. She's my twin. I know. Well, you got a little competition I now, know. Nora. <laughs> Man, it's Ma beautiful. It is beachy. It's messy. I mean, what the way you style is diffuse it, right? Mm -hmm. You just get it and cup it, diffuse it. It's pretty cool, mm -hmm. and I love it. I mean, she got she, so much volume. After I know. That. I think if anything, it's the volume in the body because your hair. I mean, not that you didn't have enough hair to begin with. She had a lot of hair, but. It was just straight and, you know... Basic. Ba well, you, you can say that because you have basic, curly hair. It so now we, like, unbasic her. I know, but when she turns around, oh my gosh, she's such a flirt. 
She is the floor. What are we calling this? I don't this know. This new technique of perming. Uh, you know what? I want everyone to leave comments below. Tell me what should we call it? I was thinking of calling it new wave mm -hmm. or calling it like, what, 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 do you, what do you want to call it? Perm remix? I don't know. Perm remix? I mean, we don't know. I mean, perm was really popular in the 80s, but back then we wrapped them up really tiny and stuff and we tease them till they become big. And now we want to, you know, kind of make them a little bit more wearable, more modern and have it a little bit more beachy and playful. It almost so looks freaking hot. I know, right? It's really cool. Just diffuse it as big. And honestly, um, I, I love it. I love it. I, I don't know what to say. I think I'm kind of curious what the hair besties think. What do you think, Nora? I think you might have just brought back the perm. Yes. Well, now you're going to have a lot of people with curly hair, so you're going to be. <laughs> Well, yeah, I used to get made fun of as a kid for having <gasps> curly hair. They used to call me Medusa and So, Nora, you, wait, 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 Nora. You said you get made fun of yes. for curly hair when you're yeah. younger? Yeah. But now everybody wants curly hair. Exactly. Uh, so, Come make fun of no, me no, now. No, <laughs> first they make fun of you, they laugh at you, then they want to be you, Nora. So that's, that's your how, case. That's how it goes. <laughs> we all want Welcome to- Welcome to the club, guys. Come well, join yeah, me. Yeah, I want to be you. I want to have curly hair, but look at me. I'm a, I'm basic. <laughs> you have texture, though. I, I do. Maybe I should perm my little short. No, I should grow it long and then perm it and then do a man bun. <laughs> well, thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, thumbs up. Thumbs up, definitely. And I'll leave links below so you can stalk Nora and Stephanie. Stephanie loves to be stalked. <laughs> Stalker. And Stalker. Stalker. <laughs> She does amazing braids. Yeah. Oh, and we want to say thank you to Kyle Lawrence Salon for letting us use your salon to film. Awesome. Gorgeous I'll, salon. Yes, yeah, a beautiful salon that you work at. Yay, great lighting. So, I know, it's great lighting in here. So anyway, you could follow the link below. Love you guys. Do, 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 do.